I was encouraged by the outbreak to come and serve my community so that when I applied, I saved the children, I was taking at the, the Trini at the Royal Show at Looking Guest House. And from the Trini, I was encouraged to come and serve in this facility. In the WHO training, I learned about how Ebola can be spread, the prevention, and how to take care of Ebola by wearing uh, Ebola patient by wearing your PPE, and how to safely take it out also. If somebody from the community come here and we triage them, and they meet the case definition, we they are taken into the suspect ward. From the suspect ward, we do the test. We carry the test to LIBR, and the test is for four hours. And if the test is positive, we send them to the confirmed area. From the confirmed area, we call the ETU to come with an ambulance to take the patient over. But if they are negative, we give them a transfer slip plus their result to be taken into the community, to the clinic for treatment. The most difficult thing is seeing an Ebola patient, but we are moved to treat our, 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 our country members, so we usually go in and help them out. The happiest moment of my job is when we have a patient and they are taken to the ETU and we learn that the patient has come through. Wow. In the future, I think we we'll also need training for other outbreaks to come. Other hemorrhagic fever, the Lazar fever, we we'll also need training to come because who knows? We don't know in the future what may happen. I have passion for my job, but this job has made me to create more passion for the job. I love to be, to be a nice friend now more than ever before.